can you tell me who you are? My name is Jan-Wil Mangaar. I'm the director of uh, business development of Hygro. I'm also one of the founders of Hygro. And uh, Hygro is uh, an energy company that uh, is producing uh, hydrogen directly from, uh, from wind energy. And when did you start this company? Uh, we started this company already five years ago. Um, after a study uh, uh, together with uh, TNO, whereby we researched what if we would integrate electrolyzers into turbines, put the uh, hydrogen into uh, pipelines and uh, transport it to the shore, how would that compare to uh, the standard electricity from offshore? Yeah. And then we realized that it must be possible to uh, produce the same amount of energy uh, via hydrogen as with electricity wow. at the same cost. But nowadays we know it's actually possible to produce twice as much energy per square kilometer of sea and deliver it at lower cost than the electricity. And can you explain how that works? In a wind turbine uh, there's the generator and the generator produces an AC signal. That AC signal is not the same frequency as what we have here from the socket. In order to get that frequency we've got some transformation steps and conversion steps in the wind turbine and these are exactly the same steps as are required for the electrolyzer. Meaning that if I would directly integrate the electrolyzer into the turbine I skip a lot of cost components in the electrolyzer and I can skip a lot of cost components in the uh, wind turbine. More importantly uh, you will get different economics of your wind turbine because the economics of your wind turbine were determined by uh, the average cost of the energy and the average cost of the energy was determined by the infrastructure cost. What a lot of people I don't think really realize is that the connection capacity of a, of, a, of a pipeline is up to a factor 20 cheaper than with electricity. Last but not least, a pipeline you can fluctuate the pressure, mm -hmm. meaning that you can store the energy in the pipeline. And hydrogen in itself is a form of stored energy, meaning that also the other problem of electricity that if the market has got a lot of wind, the price drops significantly. This problem is much, much smaller with hydrogen than with electricity. Hence, if you would uh, redesign the wind farm design and you would redesign your turbine and you would bring that together, then you will find out that it's economically viable and possible to produce twice as much energy per square kilometer at a lower cost than with electricity. The biggest challenge we're facing is, first of all, that we're making a lot of complex rules for hydrogen at the moment uh, in, in Europe and in the Netherlands. And this is so complex that it is actually becomes impossible to realize projects. We already have a project that we tried to uh, realize since 2017. Uh, then we got uh, lost in all the strange uh, rules and regulations of, of governments. One of the reasons to do this interview, for example, yeah. is to make uh, policy makers aware. If you would compare this storyline with standard story about hydrogen, the standard story of hydrogen, I do have an offshore wind farm producing electricity, I bring it to the shore and I turn it into hydrogen, mm -hmm. that never will be economical. This is a completely different storyline, this will be more economical than electricity. Um, as soon as everybody speaks the same language, that will mean that we finally will get the right rules and regulations to make this happening.